Ladies and gentlemen, this is Joe's Classic Video Games back with another great arcade game pinball machine repair video for you this evening. Uh, we're working on this really cool 1968 Gottlob Four Seasons pinball machine, which is a really fun game, uh, but it's been in storage for a long time, and uh, we're just now going through it and getting it to work. So uh, basically what we've done is we've gone through, cleaned all the switches in the game, adjusted the relays that we could tell need adjusted, um, of course, cleaned the play field, uh, put new rubbers on it, got everything kind of doing its thing. We touched up the back glass a little bit. But now we're to the point where we need to test it. So what we're doing is, uh, with just the ball and our fingers, <laughs> we're touching all of the scoring parts and seeing if they score properly. So this video is going to show you uh, basically uh, how we go through and troubleshoot one whenever we get it all ready to go and do those last tweaks to make sure everything works right. So this is going to be a boring video if you're not into that kind of thing. If you just want to see somebody play, this ain't your video. So, uh, But if you like uh, looking on schematics and figuring out why something's not working right and figuring out what switch in the game isn't connecting right or what's dirty or if a light bulb uh, should be on or if it's not, then stay tuned because that's what we're going to do. It's going to be long and boring, but uh, hopefully we'll get this sucker playing pretty good by the time we're done. So uh, uh, enjoy. What I've done is I've started a four-player game. So on the back glass it says one, two, three, four players can play at the same time. We're on ball number one. And uh, we were just uh, hitting switches with our fingers. And the reason we're doing that is just to see if everything uh, scores as it should. So the first issue we've ran into is the very first thing is on ball one of player one, uh, the 10 points when lit, it's not lit, so whenever you hit this, you should get one point. And check out what's going on. You are getting one point, but you're also getting 10 points each time. So I figured we would show you what is going on with that. Now, on each score reel, it's going to be hard to pull this out with one hand, but I'll try. If I get electroshocked, call the police. I mean, call the, call the ambulance. So basically, this is the score reel, and we have went through and serviced all this. But on each of these score reels, there are a set of switches. Again, I'm trying to finagle this with one hand while the game is on. All right, and on this particular game... When the reel gets to 9, so whenever it displays a 9 on the front, which right now it says 5, whenever it gets around to 9, what it will do is it closes this switch in the middle, which means it's hard to see these. I don't really have a good way to light it up right now. See how there's two switches on the top, and then there's another level in between, and then two on the bottom? Well, the one in the middle on this particular type of game this particular era of Gottlob, this is 1968, the one in the middle is the nine position switch. So the nine position switch, what it does is whenever you get to nine, that switch closes. And that time, whenever you get one point, it also sends a point to the other, to the, to the next reel over, which is what's going on, right? So it's real simple to figure out what's going on here. If you look close, that middle switch is stuck closed. So I'm gonna lay the camera down for a minute, adjust that so that it only closes when this says nine. And then we'll uh, we'll come back and we'll we'll film the next part. All right, folks. So I adjusted the little switch and on the nine position, and we're going to try it again. I'm just hitting the, and you have to be careful that it doesn't pinch your finger, right? So one point, two point. So now on the nine, it should roll over to fifty, which is it's. It doesn't know how to count or anything. All it's doing is it's moving this one one position and it's making that switch touch so that when the electricity comes through to move this one one position, since the switch is connected, it also moves that one one position. All right? Bam! And it's working! So we got that fixed. And uh, remember, this is just on the first player, too. So we might have problems on all of them. Um, and so the next thing I wanted to try was this scores 10 points. So we'll see if the 5 will roll over to give you a hundred, which would be the same issue, basically, you know. See, it did not, right? So let's try it one more time. Didn't work, so what's our problem? 
it's going to be the same exact problem except the other way around. The, the, the nine position switch on the on the uh, tens reel must be open to where it's not connecting on that last uh, point to give you the, uh, the hundred points. So I'm going to check that out and uh, see if we can adjust it. All right, so after checking it, I was wrong. The switch is working fine, but if you hear, if you listen real close, you can hear something. Basically, this is the 100 point relay, right? And it's locked on. So it's working right. It's trying, it's connecting that switch and it's trying to throw power to the 100 point relay to make uh, this one go. But since the relay is stuck on, it's not letting it do it. So we have to figure out why that relay is stuck on. So I'm going to look at the schematics and we'll figure that out. All right, folks. So that one took a little sleuthing. I'll show you how I kind of tracked it down. Now, people that are really good with these could probably just tell by looking at it what's going on. But I'm not all that great at it. So what, what was our problem? We had uh, the 100 point relay locked on, which is the L relay. Right? So this relay was stuck on and we were not getting a hundred points right? Da, da, da. so you can see all the different ways that that coil can get its power right well the way it was getting its power was if I can get this to focus well hmm need a little focus people the way it was getting its power was on this uh, ninth position first tens so basically it was getting energized through here and through the M relay which is the 10 point relay was turning it on and so once it was on it was staying locked on because there's a L there's a switch on the L part of my fingers and they're all dirty because I've been working on this machine uh, there's a switch on the L relay to hold it on until one of these four switches drops out, right? So on add first hundreds. So uh, on the first hundreds relay, I mean, uh, for, on the hundreds score reel, there's a little switch that opens whenever you pull the, the thing in. And that switch is not opening because you're never getting your hundred points. So the L relay is coming on. And so if you look down on the schematics, here is the add first hundreds unit which is the hundred point uh, uh, score reel on the first player and the way it gets power is through the AA relay which is the first player relay and the L uh, relay which is locked on right so the reason this could be all staying locked on is because this L relay just isn't making good contact so what I did was I went and looked at the yellow and green wire that connects to the red and black wire that switch on the L relay All right so here we have uh, the yellow and green wire Whoop. right there All right and then this at one point believe it or not that was red it's just faded now um, so one of the one of the pinball machines keeps making a bunch of noise. So if I hit this bottom switch together, I should get my hundred points. And I am. So basically, what's going on is the L relay just needs it needs those switches adjusted a little bit closer. When it pulls in, it's pulling the relay in, but it's not making these two bottom switches contact, which isn't making that do its thing. But as you can see, if I do it manually, it works. So I just need to adjust those switches a little closer. And then we'll try it again. All right, folks. So let's let's get back to where we were. We'll do our one point again just to make sure. So it should roll over. And it did. And then we'll do our 10 point and make sure it rolls over. See if we got it fixed. There we go. It is now possible to score 100 points, right? All right. So we're at 3,200. Okay, so it's rolling over. So now let's see if our 100 point pop bumper works because it's lit up. It does. Now, did you just hear what happened though? 
you're supposed to get a, ch a bell sound every time you get 100 points. But I only got it one time, right? And if I hit the 10 point, I'm getting a bell sound. And I'm supposed to get a different bell on the 100 point. So it rolls over to a thousand like it should, um, but we're not getting the bell sound. So let's let's figure that one out, okay? So what makes the bell sound? If you look on the schematics, you're looking for, and these schematics are different on different types of machines, but uh, you're looking for the uh, let's see what they call it on here. Uh, da, 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 da. Bum, bum, bum. Bell coils. Okay, hmm, they don't. They might not have it on here. Let's see if I'm if I can find it on something. It might just have it written in. I've got a pretty good idea what makes the bell go off, but it'd be good to show it to you. Anybody ever has anybody figured out what that uh the track mode is from the other machine yet? It's from 1986, if that helps you any. Hmm, here we go. Alright, I found it. It was not in vain, people. Hundreds bell. So on the schematics, here's the hundreds bell. Now the reason the way the hundreds bell gets its power is simply through our buddy. The L relay, the same one that I had a misadjusted switch on, must have another misadjusted switch. So the way you can find it is you can look at the color. It says slate and green, or that might be slate and gray. And then on the other side, it's connecting to the red and white, they call it. So slate and gray, red and white. All right, after checking the bell, it was still plugged in, but I noticed that the wire that's connected to it was white and green. So I was saying slate and green, but it's actually faded so much that you can't really tell that it's slate. So it was I was looking at the wrong switch. So this top switch is the one, and I adjusted it a little bit, and now every time the 100-point relay comes in, you get the bell like you should. And when the 10-point one comes in, I believe it hits that bell. Well, am I wrong? All right, so there you go. So we got that doing its thing. Come back out here. We have an awesome score of 8,315 points because I'm just using my hand. Um, this says five points arrow value when lit, so I guess maybe it's five points. That one's five points. Oh, there we go. Cool. So that's working good. Um, same thing, five points, but arrow value when lit. Getting five for that one. Five for that one. Five for that one. Five for that one. Moving on down, we get ten for this one. Yep, ten for this one. Um, five points for these. Five points for these. Very nice. And then uh, I should get 10 for these kickers. I haven't adjusted these yet, so these might be really sloppy, but we'll see if we get 10 points. Yes, you do get 10 points. Okay, so all of the, uh, oh, this there's another 10 point one up here. Yes, it's right. This one should be one point. Yes, that's right. And again, this one was 100. So everything's kind of scoring how it should. Um, so now we kind of need to see about the kind of trick shot stuff, right? The kind of feature stuff. So this particular game has these really cool holes at the top that says holes light indicated features. So if you land in D, it'll give you 50 points, and then it kicks the ball out, and it will light D down there, up there, and down here. So let's see if that works. We are at 
now we were at 8697 so something's not right right <laughs> so let's try it again 8697 that time it worked right let's try it again Oh, I wonder if it's because I've, I don't have the thing mounted. Well, this is kind of get, turning into a, uh, this is kind of turning into amateur hour here, people. We'll mount this back. I had the, the hundreds relay hanging down by the 10 relay, so that might have been the whole problem. All right, so we're gonna try it a couple more times. 88.97, we should get 50 points. We did, one more time. The ball got away from me. <laughs> Alright, so you see we got another problem now, so the thousands reel isn't working right. So this is the type of stuff you got to go through. Alright, so same thing here. It did light the D and it lit the D down here. So let's try the C. Same thing, it should give us 50 points. It did, but did not like the C. The reason we're getting two bells is because when it rolls over to 100, it gives you that hundreds bell, the louder one. All right, so it's the C is not lighting whenever you go in that hole. So uh, let's try the B. Okay, it lit up the B like it should. And then we'll try the A. Ah, uh, you see how it messed this up there? All right, so it lit up the A. So we're not getting the C light on whenever we land in the C hole. Now, we'll have to research that as well. So I'll check it out. We'll come back and uh, see what's going on. All right, folks. So the C hole light is still on, and the C rollover lights are not on. So the way those are adjusted, or the way those change, is through a switch on the C relay. So the C relay is, you know, it controls the C hole. So here is the C relay, and the way the C relay gets energized is by hole switch C, and then it stays energized by switch on C right and then everything beyond that it runs through this switch but the other ones do too and they're all working fine so you know it has to be something on this right so pop up the play field this is the C relay and it's energized just like the D is just like the B is just like the A is so what's really going on here is that the scoring has already changed it's just that the switch that changes the lights isn't connecting right so it's still uh, I wonder if it's the top one or the one below it. Yeah. So we've got a problem with the switch, obviously. So I'm going to take that uh, out back out clean the switches adjust them a little bit and see if we get it working how it should all right folks so they I thought this light was on but it's not it's actually just the red light and it kind of glows over there a little bit uh, so this light was off but it just wasn't making good enough contact to turn the the light on I adjusted the switch and we got that doing its thing so uh, the only one left is now the red one and we still got the scoring real issues that we got to mess with a little bit. So this one should give us 50 points, and it should turn on the targets and the red bumpers. So the targets uh, will be this one, and it will also turn on my two pot bumpers. So 81.93, 82.43, it did that right, and it turned on the two bumpers, and it turned on the red light, which makes the game really fun because of these cool little arrows. But uh, so now that we've got these lit up, let's see if we get 10 points like we should. We do. So now they're giving us 10 points each instead of one point each. So that's functioning as it should. Now here's the really cool part on this game. 
So this says arrow value when lit, right? So it has these two arrows on the play field. And this thing, like let's, we can put it on one. So the ball just hits it, right? So we can put it on one and then the multiplier we'll put on 10. So it should give us 10 points. Let's see. Wow, it did. Now let's see something cool here. Let's put it on 40. That's kind of weird, right? So it's four and then the multiplier is 10. So we should get 40. It worked. How in the world is it doing that, right? So let's put it on five, and then let's put this one on 100, right? So the ball has knocked it around, and now it's on five times 100, 500 points, right? Magic! How in the world did they make that happen, right? So it seems like we've got all that working good. So we'll put it on 100 down here, and then we'll put it on three. So, 300. Alright, so I think, it, I think we've got a problem with that one being stuck on an 8 still, but it did appear to work. So, all of the scoring seems to be working correctly. And then it has this thing down here where if you get any of these, you also get the arrow value when lit. So, we'll just put it on a low number. We'll put it on 10. And so, as I hit these, I should get 10 points. This B one's not doing anything. We'll try them over here. B is not doing anything again. C and D are working. All right, so whenever you hit either one of the B rollovers, whenever the light is lit, it doesn't work. So we got to track that down next. All right, so we're back to the schematics. So here is our B rollover. There's two of them, right? Now remember they worked a second ago whenever it was giving me five points, right? So normally through this B relay, this is normally connected. So whenever it's not energized, that's connected, which connects the power through to here, which hits the EE relay, which is a five point relay. It counts five times. But that's not, now that the light is on, the reason the light is on is because the B relay is tripped. So this switch here should change. See how it's got the little arrows? That means, uh, a uh, uh, what do they call that connect disconnect or what do they call that it's an on off switch basically so basically it's either this way or it's that way so it's since it's not that way it should connect these now so these two down here should be connected so the power should be connecting through down to here and then across and through the multiplier disk and we know all this is working because all the other ones connect to it too so A's working, C's working, D's working. So all this is working, right? And all, and uh, all of this is working where it gets this side of the power. So the only and the B rollovers are working because they work whenever it's five points. So the only thing that it could possibly be is this little switch right here. So we have to find this. They call it a make or break switch. That's what it's called. We have to find this make or break switch. So on one side it'll have a yellow wire, uh, and then on the other side the wire is late, right? and uh, black wire on the other side. So that switch, whatever make or break switch that is on the B relay, it's got an issue where it's not connecting right whenever it pulls in. So uh, let me let me check, let me check that out on the play field. All right, folks, so I checked the B relay and sure enough, one of the make or break switches wasn't connecting very well. So now whenever you hit B, you get your uh, arrow value like you should. So our last one that we haven't really messed with is the um, the holes here. And these are kind of interesting. I'm thinking those probably should be lit up right now. Let me find what I did with the pinball. Here we go. The way those light up is kind of weird. So if that is lit up, it says hole scores arrow value and when lit, same player shoots again, All right? So every time you land in that hole, you get the arrow value. So I should get 10 points. And I'm thinking it's going to light up the wind lit again because I think the light is supposed to be lit up right now, but it's not. So we'll try it. I got my 10 points. No, I was wrong. It didn't do that. Okay, so we'll see if we get 10 points on this one. 
We did. All right. Well, the way those light up is through the 10, uh, 0 through 9 unit, they call it. Um, and it has special resistors on the bulbs, so I'm, I haven't seen those lit up yet. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach inside the cabinet and spin that unit around and see if I can get those to light up, and then we can test the same player shoots again part. All right, so I got the I turned the zero to nine unit around, and it did light up the hole. So it is working. The reason that one's a little different is because there's there you actually use the solenoid voltage to light that up, and there's a big resistor under it and all this stuff. So I wasn't sure if the resistor was burned up. But anyway, it, it's just a way to make it random. So anyway, if I make this, I should get ten points, and it should turn on my same player shoots again. All right, it gave me my ten points, and it uh did do the same player shoots again. Let me make sure I, that it was 10 points. Yes, okay. And it lit up my same player shoots again. So now what we're finally going to do is see if it lets me shoot again. If it lets me shoot again, then we know uh, everything's working good. I guess I still need to try that hole too, but whatever. Okay, so uh, we are on ball one. So it kicked the ball back out. And we're still on player one. So yeah, it worked. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, a lot of this is pretty boring because <laughs> you have to go through and check every little thing and see what's not working right. Now, as you noticed, we still had issues with some of the scoring. So what I've got to do now is I've got to start, and I've already cleaned everything, so I have to just go back and check everything. On all four players, I have to keep hitting the one point thing and just make sure that rolls over pretty good. It seemed like it did. And then I had to keep hitting the 10 point and make sure that rolls over pretty good and it seemed like it did. And then I, I need to keep hitting the 100 point uh, score and get it to roll over. And it, we're having some kind of issue here because I've been stuck on 8,000 for a long time. So that thousands reel isn't turning right or something. So I need to check that out. And then I need to do the second one and the third one and the fourth one all the same. So I probably won't have any more problems on the play field uh, but I've still obviously got problems with the scoring reels. So I'm not going to film all that because it's going to take forever. <laughs> and uh, like I was saying at the beginning, some of this is kind of boring. But this is the kind of stuff you have to go through with the schematics to get one working again. So um, I hope you enjoyed the video if you're into that kind of stuff. And uh, if you have any questions, just uh, comment below. Let me know what you thought about it and if you'd like to see more boring stuff like this. And we will see you on the next video. Oh, by the way. We're going to do a full video of this, playing it and showing how the scoring works and all that, uh, like we always do. But this is just a quick one that we did to show some repair stuff. So we'll see you on the next video. Make sure to give us a thumbs up. That really helps us out. And uh, have a good evening.